Hi guys, today we're going to talk about time, mainly 4-4 four, four time. Uh, through the next couple of lessons, what we'll do, I'll go through 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, another important one, 6-8. But 4-4 four, four is the most important one to master. You can play it in straight 4s, 1, 2, 3, 4, or play it in swing time, which is always got a swing feel to it, and we'll give you an example of that. But let me tell you why time's so important. Usually these lovely old ballads that we play, uh, how I learn them is a lot of times I will know the tune, but I'll buy books, you can get them out in any music shop, they're about that thick, and it's all the old, old ballads we love from the 30s, 40s and 50s, and uh, you'll find that the melody line, it's just written as a single line, it's not like classic guitar music where you have the bass, the harmony and the melody all shoved into one stave or a piano music, uh, where it's in the left and the right hand. And most of these books carry all these melodies, and there are a lot of them. Any music shop will give you them. All you're given is a single melody line with the chords, and that's ideal. That means once you learn the tune, you can work out your own arrangement. But the most important thing is not learning how to read music. To be honest, you guys, if you're really stuck at it, you can learn the basic to read single line music in a week. It's not that difficult to learn. After a wee while, you learn the notes above and below the stave with ledger lines. It'll come familiar to the A's, the B's, C's, D's and so forth. But the hardest thing to learn is the timing. And what you'll find as well, uh, one of the great things is getting asked to play with other musicians. Now, they might be amateurs, just guys getting together to play these lovely old tunes. And they'll know you're new to it and uh, you'll make one or two mistakes. And when you play your solo, it might be all over the place, but they'll understand that because they've all been there. But the one thing which is really not tolerated very well, is timing. If your time's completely out, you knock everybody out. And if you're doing a lovely slow ballad that's in 4-4 four, four time, there's really no excuse for it. You're just doing straight fours, one, two, three, four. <coughs> and I'll show you how I do this with the right hand. And again, I'm not gonna be too elaborate with the, the arrangements or anything playing because it's to get this four beats across and to get across what I'm using with the right hand. So. You heard me doing Georgia there, but that was more a stylistic way. I wasn't playing it in the straight fours, so I'll show you how we do it in straight fours. And uh, we're really going to concentrate in backing, doing the chords, just doing an accompaniment here, just to get the straight four. So say for example, I could do the same introduction. <laughs> but when I get to the tune, just fours, I know you can either go two, Nothing wrong with that, use a plectrum or even your thumb, or a pregios. What's important here is you can, what I'm doing is the straight fours. into the way of forgetting the melody just now just playing the chords and straight forwards just block chords just to get this four bang on I can't emphasize how important it is as I say other musicians sometimes will be depending you just keeping this going all the time Two. Just 
One, two, three, four. And after a while, it'll really become second nature to you. So when you're doing the melody, uh, if you're doing it, your own arrangement of it, you're subconsciously hearing these four beats of the bar. Let me tell you something else. A long, 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 long time ago, I was playing with another band in quite a well-to-do classy venue. And it turned out that uh, we were playing before the main act came on. And it turned out the main act, who was a quite a pretty famous singer, it turned out that her guitarist hadn't arrived. And so they asked me, would I sit in the band and play the guitar? And it was straight songs, ballad songs, well-known songs that she was famous for. And I always remember sitting down, quite nervous, and the MD, her musical director, coming over to me and putting the music on my music stand and pointing to the time signatures and saying, see that time signature, son? Four beats to the bar. That's what I'm paying you for. Stick to that. And I've never, ever forgotten that. When you're doing things on your own or if you're in your own band or you're doing free-form stuff and you're playing compound time, that's fine. But if you're playing with other people and a set arrangement, it's so important to be able to keep this time signature. And you'd be amazed the amount of people that can't count to four and can't keep the four. And the base, best way to do it, it's just like I showed you there, it's just play the chords, just play the accompaniment for a well-known ballad so you can get that four feel. It doesn't matter if you play block chords, even a pregos. As long as it's a four. The four beats will sink in. Let's take another one. Let's play Misty. And again, I'm not going to bother with the melody just now and keeping it very simple. Just the straight, slow four. So, you know Misty. <laughs> guys, even though I'm playing a preggio sometimes, I'm still thinking of the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. I'm trying to make is you can either play straight block chords, straight two, three, four, thumb even, thumb and fingers. Regulars. It's just one, two, three, four. And after a while it become really subconscious. And actually people respect you very much, even just playing comping in the back where another musician's playing and playing it the best you can. Again, you're not trying to be too loud, you're not trying to do anything, you're just trying to keep these lovely fours going with the straight chords. One more time. well when you're playing the melody again those fours will sink into your mind so when you're playing the melody you'll automatically play it in the right time
it sounds like I keep repeating myself over and over again, but I really can't emphasise how important this is. As I say, people will forgive you for playing the wrong notes, getting nervous, that your solo maybe not being as good as it should be, because that'll get better. But really, there's no good excuse for getting these time signatures, and 4 4 is the best to start off with. And a lot of ballads are in 4 4 time. Now, the other 4 4 you come across is when it's a sort of swing feel. And one of the best ways to work in that is the old standard. I've used it before the autumn leaves. It's a great tune uh, to get yourself familiar with the guitar, familiar with chord patterns, and just familiar with the feel of these things. And it's more of, instead of one, two, three, four. Now these things vary, guys, but it can be a one, two, three, four. Faster, slower, maybe a wee bit more emphasis in different beats, but it's that sort of feel. So again, just play chords to get that feel. kind of feel, counter it in ourselves and we're going to play the autumn leaves but I'm just playing the chords, again imagine I'm backing something uh, somebody or I'm in a band, somebody else is taking the solo and I'm just keeping this rhythm going, so that's all I'm going to do no melody, just the chords but I'll play that B introduction again just to give me the feel simple one two three four again different bands and different groups might put different emphasis faster and slower but it's getting that swing feel but still even the, the four beats one more time slight i'll play lower range of chords <laughs> same sort of feel. It's a slight swing feel again, but it's just four beats are constantly going. So let me just come back to the most important point is don't do this straight away playing the tune. I'm sure you're capable of doing it, but really get into the feel of just comping, just playing. Again, imagine, sing, sing the melody in your head and just play the accompaniment and it really will really help you get these chords together and get this lovely feel. Let me just do it one more time. <laughs> for today guys just working this four four times i say hopefully we'll go through them all four four three four six eight the right hand again straight four sometimes i was just just strumming right across sometimes using my thumb sometimes i was using my fingers and thumbs together just like two three four 
master four four time and you'll work on all these tunes and i hope to see you again the next time and we'll go over some more time signatures so see you later guys bye